So basically, uh, quarterback Matt Sluka quits the team over money. Yep. He redshirted. Uh, he couldn't redshirt if he played more than three games, so that's why he decided to do it. Uh, the, reportedly, he was offered 100K to attend UNLV. They mm-hmm. are undefeated at 3-0. Mm-hmm. Uh, he only received 3000 of the $100,000 that he was promised by an assistant coach, and mm-hmm. so he left. He, he yep. redshirted. I'm not playing. I'm hitting the transfer portal. Uh, a running back, I, I don't think he was offered 100K, but he was offered something that they were not honoring. He is also leaving. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this was bound to happen when NIL took over. And this isn't the first time it's happened, though. I forget what it was. I, I recently read and I apologize for not having it. It's only anecdotal, but I believe it was like right before a bowl game, a whole team threatened to get back on the bus and not even yeah. play like sit out because they they weren't getting or they, you know, it was said that they weren't getting paid what they were going to. Um and it had like one of the team assistants having to call around boosters to see who yeah. can make up the difference, which is insane. So That's I'm insane. sorry, finish your thought and then we'll dive into no, it. No, no, no. I that I'm I wanted you to go because yeah, my thought my thought really was, you know, I would think a bigger schools like the D one schools would have contracts with this thing. Like, where does the money come from? Like, is it boosters? Is it but I don't you know, know if it's direct contracts through the school, right? It has to be player to booster, no? I'm not exactly sure how that works because I know that there's like agreements, right? This was more of a handshake thing. So it's he said, he said, but I would assume that more than just the player and the coach know about it because the family and everybody's speaking out against it. Yeah. Well, I think they can know about it. I just don't think it, I don't think the school can, uh, can go through the transaction because when you think about it, like the, the NIL should be something in addition to, in addition to the full ride that they're getting from the college. Because that is, you know, obviously what they're there for. Um, well, I know the NCAA is working on like the salary cap, right? Which would solve all this. Like they're working on like where the school can specifically pay programs. I believe mm-hmm. it's like whatever the spread is, twenty million. But that's all the programs, right? So from the esports to the college football and everything in between, the issue they're going to have with that is the women's swim team is going to wonder why the men's water polo team gets a couple hundred thousand more than them you know what i mean so it's like yeah that's another can of worms you got to deal with yeah so yeah this it's it's business what i see is like a lot of people saying oh how can you quit on the team and i'm like well all right man show okay, it to yeah, your someone job. told me a hundred thousand right. dollars gave me three like yeah i'm quitting on the team and plus especially if you know if you hit the transfer portal yeah. it's gonna be a large stack of money at the other end wherever you go i mean dave portnoy just came out and said that he'd pay what three million dollars to get a quarterback in michigan so i mean yeah. look you know there are boosters out there they're gonna pay you money so shit like go for it these kids and i've said this before i Firmly believe in these these kids getting paid. We watched yeah. the NCAA get filthy rich off these fucking kids for far too long from well beyond what's happening and how they get extra money for the school to their likenesses and everything else being sold for like NCAA games and shit like that. So like ticket sales, apparel sales, everything else the universities keep. And yeah. I understand for everybody, all those old heads out there like, well, their job is to play football. They're getting a full ride. And at some of these colleges, that full ride is like 70K a year. I get it. It's expensive and they're there for it. But they're also 18 through, we'll say 24 years old, putting their body on the line and some of them working very hard. And at the end of the day, and particularly a sport like football, their brain can fucking be mashed potatoes by the end of it. So should they yeah. get paid? Fuck yes, Fuck, they yeah. should get paid. They everybody should. If you're good at something and it's a lucrative industry like professional sports or even collegiate sports, which if you talk to anybody on a Saturday that came from a large school or even just college football fans, they don't want to do shit because they want to sit around and watch college football to the millions of billions of dollars being made by the 18,000 fucking bowl games we have, including the Tostitos bowl, nacho chip, dunkathon fucking football game. So these kids should get paid because look around the capitalism is spilling over everywhere and everybody else is getting paid and they should too. So if they're not getting paid the hundred thousand dollars they were promised and after three games you only saw 3k no way in hell i'm suiting up putting on a helmet and risking injury or anything else until i get paid and as you started to say and as i'm gonna finish if i know driving to work that my boss isn't going to pay me the money i'm owed i'm stopping that car turning the fuck around and going to bed plain and simple yeah the, uh, there was a casino in vegas that offered to pay the kid 100k to stay and yeah. honestly that price goes up now yesterday's mm-hmm. price ain't today's price you help the team get to three and zero. I mean, you've already raised your profile. You've played well. 
yeah, no, nah, that that's that's 150k now. You know, just for especially my if it's a casino, minutes. they make that 100%. shit in five minutes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see what happens. Uh, it, it's going to be interesting, but this was part of the deal, right? You start opening the door. NCAA yeah. has always been a business, but now you're involved in the players, NIL, things of like that. Uh, yeah, the federal judge had um, it's like an antitrust, so it's 20 million dollars to schools starting in 2025. They could start paying the players. So uh, yeah. Buckle up. It's it's going to be a little bit more and a little bit more rowdy. And again, but we've seen this, right? Kids are making these business decisions. Kids mm -hmm. aren't playing in bowl games because, you know, for, for drafting rights or they're not playing in the bowl games they want to get selected to. Mm -hmm. They're not risking their draft stock. Hell no. Like, no. I, they're I'm not going even going to, to the combine, you know? They're like, not even, yeah, they're not. It's, it, it's business oriented now. Nah, UNLV, I'm not getting paid my money. I've now raised my stock. I, I'm going to go to a bigger school now and and go and so I can raise my draft stock. So, yeah, I don't think Matt Sluka is going to be staying in UNLV anytime. So uh, you guys uh, shit the bed. Don't uh, don't write don't write checks. Your ass can't cash. That's the lesson of the day. Mm hmm.